Well, we are facing a lot together now after Irma. Happening this morning, we're keeping a close eye on our river communities because now the big problem for some could be flooding on the backside of the storm. News Channel East Avery Cotton is live in our Tampa News Center this morning with a look at the situation. Avery? Good morning, Gail. People there are certainly getting ready for the height of the flooding, most likely happening today. One place already affected, River Road along the Alifaya River. Neighbors tell us they're used to all of this water. River Road has flooded countless times before. Their homes, their cars, their neighborhood always ends up underwater. And that's why many of the houses there are built on stilts. And you can see here, homeowners have their canoes ready to go. Now, the Alifaya hits flood stage at 13 feet, but right now it's already at 17 feet and expected to peak later on today at nearly 20 feet. Now, that has not done that in more than 80 years. So, we're seeing a lot of debris up there now. A lot of trees are falling down, a lot of stumps are floating. And you know, these residents aren't alone. People who live along the Anclote River in Pasco County are on edge as well. Once again, people there just tell us it's a way of life. County leaders expect the river will rise more than seven feet above flood stage and crest a little later on today. Right now, though, no evacuation orders are in place for people who live along the Alafaya. Though in Pasco County, along the Anclote, there is a voluntary evacuation. You can find the complete list of shelters on our website, WFLA.com. Gail. All right, thank you for that, Avery. We'll check back with you soon.